give up. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Fight forever and ever and ever and ever.
one coming for me, boy. Oh, and what a way to start the match. Dustin Rhodes getting ready to give Mitch Williams, the former relief pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies that blew the World Series for this city. He's gonna give him one big punch for the whole city. Carino stopped it for happening, Brad. We got a bull rope match. I don't know if we're even gonna get a bull rope match. It's just gonna be a fight. Carino presently dragging Dustin Rhodes all over the arena here. There have been a number, a number of incredible brawls all over this particular building. And Carino and his new running buddy take the natural, the lone star down in the aisleway. We talk about rekindling a feud. Dusty Rhodes and Steve Carino have feuded in this building before. And now Steve Carino going to pick it back up with his son in this same building. Bull rope match, and look at that crimson mask Dustin has so quick into this bout. The cowbell burst the head of Dustin Rhodes wide open, and Carino stuck his fingers in the wound, was ripping at the forehead of Dustin Rhodes. Carino is dominating the Lone Star thus far, the legendary Earl Hebner trying to maintain some semblance of control, making Carino latch on the bull rope. Talk about first, Brad. The first bull rope match I, I ever heard of in a six-sided ring. You gotta tap all six sides to win this match. Carino is up to three and did not get to four as Dustin inverted atomic drop. Drops Carino, covers up, and gets drilled right in the old school family jewels. Carino trying to get away, but there's no escape with that bull rope. They're tied together now. Dustin going to try to drag him back outside. Wait a minute, chair going into the ring. No disqualifications in this match. Just picked up the bell. Oh, the bell ringer into the cowbell. And I think he rang something else with that, Brad. A rough night already for the king of old school, the trouble king, the king of men, the king of beers, the king of the buffet line, Steve Carino. A man of many titles. Reno wants nothing more than to beat Dustin Rhodes here in that bull rope match in Philadelphia. These Philly fans are calling for Carino's head. His reputation in this building speaks for itself into the chair. Brought out Mitch Williams with him. I mean, you know, it's like Carino wanted to piss off everybody in Philadelphia, Brad. I cannot imagine Carino wanting to piss off anyone under any circumstance. Well, we got Dustin with that chair. He's putting it in the corner. We saw that earlier tonight. It can turn into a very dangerous weapon. Carino, a former multiple time world champion. Face first right into it, Brad. Those world championship skills do not help you against a chair, against an inanimate object like that. Dustin gonna bring that chair back again. Need to check Carino, he hit that metal. He could, he could have split his head open as well at this point. And he did, Brad, look. You can see the, the gash glistening under these ring lights. It's on Carino's head. Brad, Dustin looks like he's got a plan here, wrapping that rope around the pole. A hog time. He can't move, he went to punch him, he couldn't do it right, right into the pole, into that metal chair again, and I'm telling you what, it split him open again. Carino now has got two wounds in the top of his head, possibly a third. The cowbell met the chair, which met the skull. Well, to win this match, you gotta incapacitate 
your opponent long enough to make it all the way around the six sides. Dustin's going to try to do it. Has he, has he stunned Carino enough to make a lap around this ring? He's halfway there, Brad. Wait a minute, Mitch Williams coming in the ring. What's he doing? He just knocked Dustin down. It's hardcore rules tonight in Philly. Earl Hebner, under normal circumstances, I gotta think would have called for a DQ, but quite frankly, not much shy of guns or knives would cause a premature end to this one. Marino gonna take his his chance to go around. Wait a minute, Dustin just tagged. He's following him, Brad. He's tagging the tagging him too. Dustin has obviously seen enough of the bull rope matches to know. Who's gonna get that last corner? Carino just shy of it. Crafty strategy. Bulldog! And Dustin taps the sixth corner to pick up the win in the bull rope match. Dustin Rhodes, the student of the bull rope matches, borrows the strategy from his old man and behind Carino's back, connected with enough of the turnbuckles that he just needed one more to pick up the win. And despite the blood loss and the violence of this bull rope match, the Lone Star comes out the winner. Both men look downright gruesome at this point.